Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my vlog. Today I'm going to share with you a super simple recipe that I always cook whenever I'm hungry. This recipe is inspired by a dish that I had in Korea when my friend Christina took me to Hongdae. There's this uh, hole in the wall Japanese restaurant where they served yaki udon and it was really good. So I just finished my shift from the hospital. I worked the night shift and I had to do this uh, required training. We have to practice doing CPR every couple of months. After this, we are gonna cross the street to get a booster shot. But I'm actually not very excited about this booster shot because I'm actually scared of needles. I'm all, when I was a child, I'm always in and out of the hospital. I don't really like blood draws and I think HEPA B vaccine in college was the worst. It really stings. But the worst would be when our nursing teacher made us practice giving each other a shot using distilled water. I am sub Q when skin test, it was horrible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yay. Third shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That was weird because I actually didn't feel anything. The nurse who did it is probably very skilled in giving shots. After the shot, I'm gonna go back home and be stopped by Walgreens to pick up some medicine. And look at these Halloween candies. Happy Halloween, guys. Don't you just love all of these uh, digital screens on the fridge? We don't even need to open the fridge to know what's inside because uh, it's all displayed on the screen. Which is amazing because that's going to save a lot of energy. Okay guys, so the recipe is going to be in the description box just in case this video is too fast for you. This uh, clip is like a... Uh... Tell me how much you love mayo without telling me how much you love mayo. So first we're going to boil some water for our udon. I have frozen udon in the freezer. And we're just going to chop some vegetables while we're waiting for the water to boil. So we're just slicing our perilla leaf. Just grab a bunch, roll it like a cigar and slice it into a chiffonade. Um, the thickness, uh, it depends on you how much thick or thin you like it to be. So we're gonna be using cheddar beggi, which is a marbled brisket and baby oyster mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms that you want so you just don't wash it or else it's going to get soggy. Um, just slice it into smaller pieces and then roast it dry on the pan until it gets some color. But I'm actually very hungry so I'm not going to roast it into a darker color. But it's so much better when it's dark brown or golden brown. To this, we're gonna add half a cup of oyster sauce and half a cup of soy sauce. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. I cooked five packets of udon noodles. Drain it and put it in the pan. Add a tablespoon of my favorite sesame oil, otogi sesame oil. And we're also gonna add a tablespoon of dulkirum, which is a perilla seed oil. So sesame oil is very nutty and dilgirum is very herby. And I'm not gonna show you how much 
mayonnaise I put in there. We are gonna add our perilla leaf. Ignore my hands, I forgot to press the correct right button. We're gonna put a uh, juice of half a lemon. And then crumple some roasted seaweed like you're a crazy person. Serve with black sesame seeds and we're done. It's so fast. I would serve this with some beer but I'm in the mood for tea. These are my plant babies. So before bedtime, I took uh, a couple of Tylenols, my vitamin, and my birth control pill. I added that some videos, I went to sleep. After 12 hours, I woke up with a sore arm and that's all it is really i didn't feel anything no nothing just sore arm it was sore for a couple of days but it was very manageable and that's all there is to it thanks for watching guys